Welcome back to another Mech Deck Tech. Today we're going over the first of four pre-con upgrade guides for Commander Masters, Sliver Swarm. Sliver Swarm, as the name suggests, is a sliver type deck that looks to play as many slivers as possible as quickly as possible. And since each sliver you have boosts the power of all your other slivers, you get to kind of snowball pretty quickly. Before we get started, I noticed that most of you still aren't subscribed to the channel yet. If you're enjoying these guides, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow and ring in that bell notification uh, so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Let's get started. We're doing the standard 10 cards in, 10 cards out without touching the lands because that would make for a bit of a boring video. Having 10 cards to take out was honestly really hard for this deck since every sliver instantly synergizes with every other sliver. That being said, the first one on our chopping block is Blade Sliver. Effectively a 3-2 for 3 that boosts the power of all your other slivers by 1, which is fine. Uh, for, you know, a bit more power is cool, but it's just not enough to make the cut. One extra power for all of our slivers is fine, but it's just not powerful enough to make the cut, and we're going to see that as a trend going through the cards that we've made cuts with. Bone Splitter Sliver is in the same boat. He costs one more mana, but gives two power instead of one. But again, like, these incidental power-ups are a little on the weak side. Cleaving Sliver is just Bone Splitter with a different name. I don't really need to say much else about it. Constructing Sliver is a 3-3 for 6, but, you know, it does give you some repeatable removal in the form of ETBs. However, those removals are only good as long as those Slivers remain in play. This style of effect highly motivates your opponents to board wipe, knowing that they're going to actually get a bunch of cards back once the board is clear. Decimate is up next. It's a powerful removal spell for 4, but if an opponent removes a single target that you've selected whenever you cast a spell before it gets resolved, the entire spell just fizzles. So, you know, do you want to pay 4 mana and have potential to do nothing? I sure don't, and we have other spells that remove things in, you know, the deck anyways, so it's not necessary. Megantic Sliver is a 6-6, six, six, effectively. Uh, for 6, who's going to boost all of your slivers by plus 3, plus 3? You know, definitely the strongest static boost that we're going to see here. But... Ultimately, it's just not enough, and I know that, like, using it in combination with the Encore ability of our commander, you know, we could see all of our Silvers get plus 9, plus 9, which is super powerful, but it's just, it's not what we're going for. White Silver falls into a similar camp, uh, being a 4-4 four, four for 5, that boosts all your Silvers for plus 2, plus 2. Uh, you know, if you really want to have a lot of this big, beefy army mentality, you could definitely swap these out for some, like, utility slivers in the deck. But it's just not the main focus that I want to take the deck in. Rukarmarul, Biologist, was the backup commander for the deck, but it's been removed. I don't think we really care about this first effect at all, right? We care about our slivers being slivers. If, you know, we wanted to do some other, you know, synergies, maybe like Giant or something, we definitely could have taken that the deck in that direction. But it's just not what we're going for. And, you know, paying three mana and tapping her down to get out, you know, a little 1-1 one -one that's being boosted but not boosting anyone else, I just don't think it's all that worth it. New Sliver is the last of our, hey, I'm going to boost everyone's power type of slivers that we're, you know, we're moving from the deck. It's for the same reason, you know, the, the plus one, plus one for each of our slivers is cool. You know, if we encore it, you know, oh, we have plus three, plus three for the turn, kind of cool, but not enough, right? So, Sinu Sliver, you're out of here. Lastly, we have Windfall. Windfall actually works really well with our commander to dump, you know, creature cards from our hand into our grave and then give us, you know, probably a pretty decent draw, but we have better draw options out there. So, Windfall, you're just not making the cut. That being said, we need to replace these cards, and we're starting off with Slate of Ancestry, which is a repeatable way of dumping our hand and drawing cards, likely way more cards than we were going to get with Windfall in the first place. Kindred Dominance is a new card from one of the other pre-cons that will let us wipe our opponent's boards and strike hard with our Sliver army. Ingarug's Wake here is for the exact same reason. We want to have these one-sided board wipes. 
and then we want to punch our opponents hard. Virulent Sliver gives us an alternate win con through poison damage. Giving all of our slivers poison one is fantastic. The first sliver is up next, and they're going to let us dig through our deck as we cast our expensive spells, ideally hitting, you know, more slivers to give us more of a boost. We, of course, couldn't do anything without our Sliver Overlord. Definitely a pricey add at, like, $45. But the fact that it's going to let you tuber up any of your Slivers is great. You know, if our opponents happen to also be playing Slivers, cool, we could steal them. If they steal our Slivers, we could steal them back. Sliver Legion is going to be the power boost that many of our cut Slivers were trying to be. Right, so now instead of just being a static, oh, here's a plus one, plus one, through plus three, plus three. It's like, no, we're going to give you plus one, plus one for each sliver already on the battlefield. So, definitely a mighty way to kind of, like, boost all of our, you know, tiny ones. And, of course, boosting all of our very large ones as well. Root Sliver is here to make sure that those pesky blue players aren't just countering our lovely little slivers that we're popping off with. You know, most of this deck is honestly just sliver creatures. You know, we don't have a ton of instant sorceries, enchantments, all that jazz compared to many decks that we've seen in the past. This is super creature based. And, uh, you know, we don't want our, our opponents stopping us. So, Root Sliver, you made the cut. Quilt Sliver acts as a nice piece of removal that makes our opponents have to consider the extra damage that they'll take when they go to attack us, or even when they go to block us. Homing Sliver is going to let us tutor up slivers we want to play and put slivers into our grave for the Encore effect. They're also the last of the 10 cards that we're adding to this deck. But as always, we're going to go over our three R's, which is our ramp, removal, and reactions. We, of course, have the Gem Hide Sliver and Mana Weft Sliver, uh, which are going to allow all of our slivers to tap for mana, allowing us to get out our bigger, beefier slivers much more quickly. We have a few proper ramp spells in the form of Cultivate, Farseek, Nature's Lore, and three visits. Of course, a commander deck wouldn't be complete without some mana rocks to pop off with. So we have Arcane Signet, Felwar Stone. Herald's Horn is really a mana reducer, not a mana rock, but still in the same vein. Pillar of Origins. And of course, Soul Ring. Getting into our removal, we have Harmonic Sliver for all those pesky artifacts and enchantments. The Chronic Sliver for any permanent we want, though it will cost us one of our slivers. Cleansing Nova gives us a choice of what we want to remove, and since we don't actually play a ton of enchantments in this deck, you know, the second option is pretty safe. We would lose, you know, some of our mana rocks and whatnot, which we prefer not to. But if we have enough mana up to kind of regen all of our slivers, you know, that first option, perfectly fine. Crippling Fear is a one-sided potential board wipe. Um, and the one-sidedness is definitely important, which is why we have Ingaruk's Wake and Kindred Dominance. In terms of reactions, we have, again, our Quilled Sliver to mess up blocks and attacks. Clut Sliver to protect what we need to on our board in terms of our main big effects, as well as Crypt Sliver, who could basically protect our entire board, assuming all of our slivers are untapped. But those are the upgrades, and they're notably a little bit more expensive than things I've recommended in the past, but this is also a more expensive set than the ones we've gone over in the past. Uh, but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck with your decks.